Uh, my name is Paul Craig, and I'm pleased to welcome you to our, our IQB crash course today, Python for Chem Informatics Driven Molecular Docking. In our session today, uh, we'll have four presenters. I'll present the first notebook, uh, and I'll be followed by Pat Walters, and then by Levi Naden, and by Jessica Nash. And we'll go through a sequence. So I'll go through the agenda in a little more detail in a couple of minutes. And, and in fact, what I'm going to do right now is <clears throat> I'm going to bring up a PDF file and share it with you. All right, let me share my screen. All right, so this is the preparation guide that you should all have received by email. And for the preparation guide, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that you could have done before the, the uh, webinar started. Uh, if you find yourself overwhelmed by what's happening here, it's going too fast for you, go back and take a look at these preparation videos and workbooks and that, that notebooks that'll help you get started. Uh, but a couple things I wanna point out here. One is you can, uh, there's a link here uh, that actually contains the workshop. So we had a few people at the, um, at the office hour tomorrow um, who were asking, can I get it, you know, can I do this in Jupyter Notebooks or, or Anaconda? And so if I go to that site, this is the GitHub site that contains the course uh, materials, you can download the material from here. You can clone this, uh, clone this site to your computer and you can download the material uh, and, uh, and use it, all right? So you can get the notebooks that way. You can also just click on an individual notebook. And in fact, this is the notebook we're gonna do. So I'm gonna click on it, Digital Representations of Molecules. When I click on that notebook and open it, that brings us up in Google Colab. And what I would encourage you to do so that you'll have your own work saved and you'll be able to come back to it later is right now, go into the file menu here. And if you look at the file menu about halfway down, it says save a copy in Drive. All right, so I'm gonna click on that and it's creating a copy. I just wanna show you what's happening here. So it's called copy, I'll call this copy, copy five because I've copied it a bunch of times to show this to people. So this is copy five. And if I go to my Google Drive, what we'll see here under recent, under recent, come on. Oh, okay. Oh, copy five isn't showing up there. It should be. Maybe it didn't change the name of it. All right, but it did do it at 1.02 p.m. today. And for me, it's stored in, in Colab Notebooks. I believe that's the default on Google Drive for notebooks. So you can download and you should download each of these notebooks to use them today. And that way you can come back and look at them later. Uh, we had a number of people asking questions yesterday in the open uh, in the open office hour uh, about that. So that's the notebook. And if we go back to the guide, there are links to all four notebooks in this guide. So you can come back to this guide and find it. Uh, and uh, you can access that at any time. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the agenda. So uh, we're going to be, I'll be doing the first notebook, Digital Representations of Molecules, and it's in this agenda in your in the PDF you received, and this link here is the same link. It's going to take you right to the same notebook, so I'm not going to click on it. All right, and what we'll do is each of our presentations is going to last 30 to 40 minutes, okay, and then there'll be time to practice and catch up. There'll be, uh, there'll be a break, so you can you can get up and walk around a bit. And then at the top of the hour at two o'clock, Pat Walters will be taking us through exploring chemical and biological data with binding DB and the RD kit. And now again, time for practice and a break. Then Levi Naden is going to take us through preparing molecules and proteins for docking and explain that process and why we have to prepare molecules before we can do docking. Again, more time for practice and catch up and, and a break. And then finally, Jessica is going to uh, lead us through a molecular docking workflow. And so this is a four hour crash course and we encourage you to stay with us as long you know, for, for the whole time. Uh, browsers, this, we know this works in Chrome. 
I, I believe it works in Safari. And yesterday in the office hour, somebody said they tried it in a couple of Windows browsers and those also functioned. Maybe the most important piece of information I'm providing right now is the Discord server for the crash course. So we won't be having chat or question and answer on Zoom directly. We found that that's not, not easy to manage and the Discord is much easier to manage. And there's a link to the Discord server in the PDF you received. And that link will take you to the Discord server. And when you go there, and now I've got, I've actually got the Discord app set up on my on my Mac. And when you go there, you'll see something like this. Uh, and uh, one of the the uh, tools here is or the channels is IQB Docking Webinar 2025. That's where you want to be. And here's Levi Naden, uh, who's there. Levi, would you like to say anything else about uh, about using uh, using Discord? Um. The this is just like uh, any other chat service you have. This lets us actually answer questions, have moderators, and people can have conversations here. This is the officially this is the Discord for the Molecular Software Sciences Institute's Education uh, Division. But you are welcome to use this as a workshop participant to talk about it, and we will be posting the links to the videos when they are ready here, as well as you will probably also receive an email from the RCSB. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to ask here. We have several moderators. We will try to field questions best we can as presenters, or they will get forwarded over to us. Um, but also feel free to talk with each other, answer each other's questions, be polite and respectful. I have no problems banning people if you try to test that, um, but that should be uh, standard etiquette for most things. So. That's all I'll say on that. And uh, you'll see me again here in a couple hours. Thanks very much, Levi. Um, and I, I wanted to mention something, Christine uh, Zardecki from, uh, from Records posted, if you, if you can't find the PDF to find the links to these notebooks, send an email to info at rcsb.org, info at rcsb.org. Uh, and uh, hopefully that, and, and that will, she'll send you the link and you'll have the document. The document actually is also posted in the, uh, is pinned in the uh, server here. And if I look at pinned messages, you notice the push pin on the on my screen here. You look here and here's the guide. So you can click on that and download the guide. All right. I believe that's that's the preliminary material. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually move into uh, the first notebook.